Hi everyone, today we're gonna to go through the Grant Thornton Virtual Internship Module 3. So starting off, I've compiled all the sheets uh, into one Google Google Sheets. I've created the PNL, um, the, uh, the balance sheet, uh, another sheet for equity and a summary sheet. And all of that came from the instructions and um, from the Word document that we got. So this is kind of how it looks for me. You can basically just copy and paste. Um, so we're gonna start off with the PNL, which was the first one in the Word doc. And I'm going to use the trial balance sheet um, numbers to figure that out. So we're looking for the revenues um, notice how they are negative here um, and it's a credit so uh, it, it all depends how you how you want to like how, how basically you've decided to display it so I'm gonna make sure that I had a negative sign in front of those so that we have positive revenue there we go and we're gonna do the same for 2018 by dragging it across. Now, we're basically gonna continue on with this process for uh, cost of sales uh, and so on. So similar thing, let's do some. And we see cost of sales here, so we can, that's really handy to have that subcategory. So we can sum that. Notice how we also have uh, some negatives. Uh, we, have, we have a combination of negatives and positives, so make sure you account for that. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So we're gonna do plus this negative and, oops, minus, mm. that's, Right. So we're going to note it as a negative because it's the cost. So then once we add those two together, we get the profit. Uh, with other revenue, uh, there is, I believe there's another subcategory. Let's look for that. Other revenue, there it is. Oops, get rid of that. There we go. And same thing for 2018. All right, and so on. So um, it's pretty simple. Uh, you guys can just skip through the video and take a look what I get at the very end. So I'll just go on as I am. Yeah, so with administration expenses, you gotta be careful. They're not all listed in the same area. So you have to take you have to make sure you look at you you get all of them. Continuing on. Mm -hmm. Occupancy expense. Yeah, so this is a little, a little mind-numbing work. Um, I'm not sure how they really want you to do this because we weren't given an Excel document, but I, I really think this is the best way. It's um, the best way to avoid any errors. Do not, I wouldn't try to do this um, in Word just as they have given it to you. It's, it's, that was very strange to me. So I would say this is definitely the best way. Um, The only other reason I can see you using Word and then using Excel is to double check your answers just to see if everything reconciles. So, but I'm, uh, I'm just gonna skip that step and do it from Excel really. Oops. Like some. It's a little bit 
bit fidgety. Okay, nice. Now with the profit, it's basically the gro the gross profit um, plus the sum of all those. That's the tax refund because it's noted as uh, um, I believe it was a negative, right? That goes there and I believe there's no other. So I'm just gonna leave it as zeros and that will just be that plus whatever the other one would have been. There we are. So, Okay, so that seems like the PL is all good. Um, I might have actually, hang on. I think there's a mistake in gross profit. What have I done? Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, I need to add the two because um, I made, uh, as I said before, the uh, cost of sales I kept as negative. So you just gotta be careful with your signs. And yeah, moving on to the balance sheet. So we have the um, the headings. So in in uh, all caps. So we have our cash and cash equivalents. So just summing that and trade equivalents. So I think that's talking about receivables. Oops. Yes. Now I've got to be careful with the signs. adding the two together. So one's positive, one's negative. So they're, they're just subtracting from one another. And inventories. I, I think for people that um, haven't really done any work like this before, um, yeah, it's, it's important to kind of understand debits, credits, um, and keep, be consistent with uh, how you're using how you're using the signs. Um, I myself don't actually do accounting. I haven't done. I haven't taken any accounting classes yet. So um, please correct me in the comments if you believe I'm doing something slightly wrong. I'll be happy to hear that. So, okay, and um, actually, yeah, I'm just going to copy the format. There we go, and um, total current assets. That's strange, because it's a, anyway, I guess that's just the sum. <laughs> it's weird how they um, kept the top one blank, anyway. Make sure that's the right. Yep, that seems okay. Property plan equipment, and I'll do that here as well. Copy the format and total actual property. Hmm. I think they don't have that anywhere in the balance sheet. Sorry, in the trial balance. Uh, and that, so on basically, oh yeah, so um, if you guys don't know how to do the formatting, this is how you do it. You go into more formatting, you go into custom, um, and then there's, that's the one, that's the code that I'm basically using. That means um, if it's zero, it's that little dash. So yeah, and there are, there's a bunch, there's a selection there, so play around with it. Um, you guys can figure out how it works. Um, yeah, so continuing on, that would just be the sum of all of that. And across. Okay, so pretty, pretty 
pretty simple. Continuing on trade and other payables. Hmm. Let's have a look. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, accounts payable. I think that's it. this one all right and accrued expenses not sure if I think it might be just one number yeah so same thing add a negative boom there we go Uh, I could have saved, I think I can save myself some time by just finding the, oh no I can't actually. I was going to say total, um, total current liabilities and then just taking it away to get the other, but I'm not sure that we don't really have that info yet. So just continuing on, <laughs> this is a bit of a lengthy process, this is why I, <laughs> um, yeah, so just skip through if you guys want to see the end. So I think we, it doesn't actually say trade and other payables, but I think it's under non-current. Let's have a look. Uh, non-current payables, yep. That seems correct. thing is very fidgety. If you go back and forth, it confuses it. Okay, and across. Mm, that seems okay. Zero. Bank loans. I think we have that. Sorry, I have to do it again. Total is then just the non-current plus the current. Um, and across. Now, net assets. I can't quite remember. Um, <laughs> not <laughs> should just be yeah, total assets minus liabilities. Yep. I think that would 
looks good. Now for equity, uh, we can receive that from our PL. Just like that. Current year profit. And then that's for 2018. And then retained earnings. Mm. Let's see. Retained earnings. Do we have that? Hmm. Uh, it could be. I think it's in the trial balance. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. We have we have a subcategory. Retain earnings. There we go. And add a negative. And then total equity. Let me just format. Total equity is then. that there we go nice and we can um, unbold that okay nice and easy so that concludes for today's video um, I'll be going through the last two sheets in the next one and that will be all for module 3 thanks for watching